Hello everyone, this is EDOC 2020. Today I have my HP Palm Top out again. I'm running Minesweeper. And I did a whole other video on this computer earlier, which you should be able to find um, in the corner, or I'll provide a link. So here I'm running Windows 3.0 and Minesweeper, but there's just one problem. See, I have a mouse, but on the other end, this is a PS2 mouse and this doesn't have a PS2 port. But today I'm going to try to make them work together. If you want to see how, stay tuned. So the palm top only has a serial port. And it's a special serial port. So the first step in getting the mouse to work is to turn it into a serial mouse from a PS2 mouse. Oh, fortunately, I have an adapter which should convert this to a serial mouse, but I haven't tested this before. So I'd like to test this on another computer first. So if I know it doesn't work, it's the mouse and not the palm top end. Now, here's the mouse. Okay, the mouse is working now. You can right click, left click. Move it around. So now you know the mouse is working, we can get to work on connecting it to the palm top. Okay, so now we have a serial mouse and a palm top with a serial port. Now we just need to connect them together. Yeah, that's not going to work like that. Palm top has a pin header for its serial port, so we need an adapter. If you're a PC builder of a certain age, you're probably familiar with plugs like this. They have you know, a pin header on one end, well, either a receptacle for a pin header, and your serial connector on the other end. You know, so you might think, let's plug that into the palm top. Still no. The palm top serial port actually has a 2.0 millimeter pin spacing as opposed to the regular 2.54 millimeter or a tenth of an inch. So that means you can't use a regular adapter. Unfortunately, I don't have the proper plug. What I do have, though, is I have this little, yeah, I have this little wiring harness bit from a broken computer monitor. This is two millimeter pin spacing. You know, it's only one row of pins, but I might be able to cut it in half and make it work. Uh, let's see. So here's a closer look at the plug from the monitor. You can probably see the ten holes here. Okay, so there are two slight issues with this. One, it's one long row instead of two shorter rows. We can easily fix that with a, by cutting it. 
And the other is it has this little protrusions which will prevent it from butting up against itself. So just give me a minute and I'll have this filed down. Okay, I just filed off the protrusions. Now the side of the connector is nice and smooth. Now we can cut it in half so we get two rows. Okay, that came out pretty cleanly on that side. On this side, kind of cut the row in half, that's okay. We don't need the last pin. Okay, I actually need to file the connector down quite a bit more, but now I can actually plug them in and unplug them. The next step I'm going to do is to um, super glue them together. One moment, please. Um, I lied. I'm actually going to attach the serial connector onto the wires before gluing the connector halves together. So I'm just going to basically strip these tin them and then solder them on in order to this connector I have. Okay, I'm done soldering up the connector. So I checked it for shorts and I, there were some, but um, I fixed it. So now, theoretically, this adapter will work. I put this side on backwards. I guess I need to redo it. Now I finished soldering the connector. Should be able to plug it into the palm top and then we can test it. It's still in two pieces because um oh I need to locate my super glue. Plugged in now. 
Now let me get um, batteries for this and I'll join you and we'll try the mouse. One moment. I lied. I'm going to glue the two halves together now. It fits. Let me plug in the mouse and then we'll try running Windows. Okay, that's plugged in. And I can plug the mouse into that. Helps if it's in the right way around. <laughs> now let's look at the palm top. First, all of the exit to plain DOS. There we go. Now I'll start Windows. Okay. See, we don't have a cursor now. I believe we can switch over to the main window and now um, select Windows Setup. See, it's currently set mouse, no mouse or other pointing device. Let's see, options, change system settings, mouse, whoops, mouse. I guess we have Microsoft or IBM PS2. Hold on. I need to figure this out. I'll be back. Okay, I just copied Disk 5 of Windows 3.0. I probably should have learned to read it. It's asking for disk 1. Okay, now I have disk 1 copied as well. NSRC. I copied it. Screw it all this come back once I've got it set up. I don't know what the problem with this is. I tend to think this is crashed. Divide overflow. Ups selection. You must select a new type of percent zero. I'd say that crashed. Okay, I copied over cute mouse. 
What will cute mouse do? Hey, installed at COM1 in Microsoft mode. Real present. That's a success so far. Okay, I just properly copied mouse.drv and added it to system.ini. Now let's try it. This is where it was crashing earlier. And Windows is loading. Oh. We have a cursor. Does it move? Yes, it does. Unfortunately, I didn't think it had enough to bring a mouse pad. So, um, yeah, I'll try playing a quick game of Minesweeper. And, yeah, unfortunately, the bottom is cut off. This is where it would really help to be able to see the bottom. Screw it. Point is, now the mouse works. So, um, I guess pretty soon I could do some more demos with the mouse. I wanted to. You know what would be good? Paint. Ta-da! Hello. Yep, so, um... There we go. So, yeah, I'm EDOC2020. Hopefully you liked this video. If so, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. See you next time. Goodbye.